the juice, I got the juice Ten no chat on zone Foolies glad I'm on Even my haters kinda glad I'm on Rest in peace to my back Hey, what's happening guys? Robbie here and today I'm gonna be telling you guys another story on this channel. I know how much you guys like them. So if you enjoy these, smack the like button. But I'm gonna be telling you about the time I shot someone. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking recoil on this thing. Let me know if you guys like having the face cam in these stories, Call of Duty gameplay in the background once again. But yes, I'm telling you about the time. I was a mischievous little kid and decided to shoot other kids with a BB gun. What the fuck? What was I thinking? So anyways, this happened a long ass time ago, back in the summer after 6th grade, about to go into the 7th grade, and I was having a buddy down that I haven't seen in years. This guy, he moved away, and he was absolutely one of my best friends growing up. He was coming down, we were gonna hang out, do all this fun stuff, it was gonna be a great weekend. So a piece that I'm going to share to this story is kind of irrelevant, so I don't know why I'm telling you. But uh, me and him wanted to go see a movie. My mom dropped us off at the local Cineplex. And afterwards, after we were done with the movie, there's a Chuck E. Cheese right there. So we decided, you know what, let's go in, let's play some games. And we actually went in, and I remember one of the machines was left open, the tokens. So we just snagged, like, thousands of these tokens and just played for, like, six hours got the biggest prize they had. That, that was probably like one of the sickest things. Imagine being a little kid at a Chuck E. Cheese and just having unlimited tokens to just give me all of your tickets. And we'd just find the game that gave us the most tickets and we'd use that. So anyways, back on to the regular story. Yeah, the one I'm actually here to tell you about. So me and him, we the next day, we're going outside, we're biking around and we had bought these little BB guns, like the dollar store ones. But he brought his, like, big one. Like, the big guy. So, it only had those little plastic BBs, though. It didn't have any, like, you know, something that would hurt somebody really bad. I mean, I guess you were for a little kid. It felt like a pinch. Like, felt like getting shot. It wasn't even, like, as bad as a paintball gun, I guess you could say. But it was enough to cause a bit of a pinch to somebody who's really young, right? So, anyways, us being the tough fucking grade 7s we are now. We were kings of the fucking world. We were in this park right down by my house. And we go up to these two kids. And these two kids are just minding their own business. Having a great fucking day. Like just shooting some hoops, playing some basketball, all that kind of stuff. And little shit disturber me and my friend decide to come up. And he takes the BB gun that we have been shooting off into open fields or at rocks or just whatever we were wanting to shoot at. Decides to shoot one of these kids with his BB gun yeah asshole and I can't remember this kid's exact words because he was only like grade 4 I think but it was probably somewhere along the likes of fuck off man like he didn't say that that's for sure but it was pretty close to it so then me being the mischievous bastard I'm in I like pass me that pass me that boom other kid and I don't know what got over me, being the big burly bastard I am, thought I was some kind of bully that day or something, because I was grade 7 now, boys. I was top of the line when it came to fucking Kid Central Public School. So apparently I thought I was tough shit. And anyways, these kids end up running off home and all that stuff, and we don't hear of anything for like weeks. My buddy goes home, I'm relaxing, chilling out, completely forgot about it, all that kind of stuff. And me and him went on with our day just, you know, shooting random trees and all this kind of shit. But I can't even remember the conversations we had with these kids as to why we'd even do something like that. I have no clue. I'm usually not that much of a dickhead. But for some reason, maybe they aggravated it. Maybe that's... I have no clue. I'm totally at fault here, though. I can't push this on them. They're just fucking innocent little kids. But about two weeks later, I'm out with some friends when my dad comes storming down the road, all pissed off, this, that, whatever. Kind of like, you know, remember back in the day before every kid had a cell phone? If you're my age, you might remember this. And your dad would come out to find you at like 10 o'clock at night if you were late to go inside. Yeah, that's what it was. So he comes burning down the road, you know, just mission accomplished kind of deal. And he comes up to me and he's just like, Robbie, you need to go right now. I have to talk to you about something. 
And I'm like, no, I'm hanging out with my friends. Like, leave me alone. I'm not going to. He's like, Robbie, seriously, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. You got to come up with me right now. I go, no, like, get away from me. And he goes, Robbie, there's a cop at the door. My little face dropped to the motherfucking floor. At first, I didn't really understand, like, what he was talking about, what I could have done, why there would have been a cop at the door looking for me. But then when I got up there, the cop starts talking to me. So, Robbie, what were you doing on this day at this time? And I go, oh, I was out with my buddy. We were just kind of screwing around, having a good time at the park. Oh, do you not remember shooting these kids? Here's some photos. Look at their arm. What are those welt marks? And I'm sitting there like, I, what? I didn't even think I hit him. Like, I honestly believed at that time I didn't even think I hit the kid. But apparently I did. And the mom had called 911 and put in a report on us. So anyways, all in all, the cop integrates little 13-year-old me. I'm scared shitless. I end up having to go under my bed and grab my own BB gun, hand it to the cop. She confiscated it. Basically said she's going to use it for public speaking announcements towards other kids my age and in public school on how not to use a BB gun. So that thing is off there getting its 15 seconds of fame somewhere at this time. I don't know if she still uses it. I've never heard back from this girl ever in my life. Like I said, this is like nine years, no, eight years ago now. So yeah, it's been a long time. But anyways, boys, that is the time I shot a kid with the BB gun and got in shit by the cops for it. So, you know, props to me for really being the class fucking act I am. But I did go on, my dad ended up grounding me from the border dance, which used to be this huge dance that all of our friends could go to, basically hang out. It was like clubbing, but for 12 and 13 year olds. It was the shit back in the day, and it was the weekend of my birthday, and I couldn't go. I remember losing my mind, staying in, all alone at home and just being so pissed off at myself stupidest thing one of the stupidest things I think I've ever done and uh, yeah if you can take any lesson from this story don't be a fucking idiot so anyways boys hopefully you enjoyed this story if you did smack a like on it let me know right now do you enjoy the face cam on these stories first time I've done it so if you do make sure to tell me and I'm, I'll bring it back we can bring this back so I hope you enjoyed. There will definitely be more stories to come. And have a great day, you sexy studs. Peace.